Microsoft have just released Windows 10 Redstone 2. This is build 15063, also known as version 1703, March 2007, or the creator's update. Now, when Microsoft released Windows 10, they made it known that all Windows 7 and Windows 8 users would be eligible for a free upgrade if they took advantage of the free upgrade within the first year of Windows 10's launch. And when we left feedback to the Windows Insider program about the flawed product activation mechanism of the initial build of Windows 10, which Microsoft took into account, I stated that it would be likely that Windows 7 and Windows 8 keys would always act as Windows 10 keys, otherwise there would be a flurry of problems. The Redstone 2 ISOs were made available 8 months after this first year, so let's grab an Optiplex 790 which has never had Windows 10 installed. This Optiplex 790 has an affixed Windows 7 Pro COA with a 25 digit product key. Now also in the tutorial video I faded the start of the COA so it can be pirated but it is perfectly readable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Windows 10 Redstone 2 without a product key. And because I want the free Windows 10 upgrade, I'm going to have to install the corresponding edition of Windows 10 to match the edition of Windows 7, as shown in this table. So I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro. So we can look at Winver to confirm that I've installed Redstone 2, that's version 1703 or build 15063 and we can look at MS Info32 to confirm that I've installed it on the Dell Optiplex 790 and that I've installed the Pro Edition and what we can do now is right click the start button and go to settings and at the bottom of settings, it will state that Windows isn't activated. This is because I installed Windows 10 Pro without a product key, and this system has never been made a Windows 10 Pro device before. So I can go to Update and Security, and then I can select Activation. So what I can do now is I can select Change Product Key, and I'm going to type in this 25 digit product key from the Windows 7 Pro COA. Again, I'll fade the front of the key so it can't be pirated. However, you can see the end of the key, so you know it is the key from the Windows 7 Pro COA. So I've input this 25 digit product key and I've just selected next and now you see the key has been accepted by the Redstone 2 installation media. So I can now just select activate and lo and behold Windows 10 Redstone 2 has been activated with an unused Windows 7 Pro OEM product key. This Optiplex 790 is now a new Windows 10 Pro device. This test shows that Windows 7 OEM product keys and Windows 8.x OEM product keys will still act as Windows 10 OEM product keys.